Welcome back everyone. It's been a while since we've done a fast food video on this channel. As I'm sure many of you are aware, we've been doing a ton of scary videos over the past few months. I thought it would be a good idea to combine the two topics and look at some pretty horrific stories about fast food. These are real stories from customers and employees of fast food places and it's a reminder that sometimes to get food fast, people do cut a few corners. My name is Danny Burke and this is the top 10 scary fast food stories. Starting off at number 10 now, we have The Horror Show. That is the only name I could give to this story, or stories, from Reddit user Bujo01. They said, I watched this really slow guy drool all over the burger he was making. A guy had a scab fall into the bun toaster and get toasted with the bun, so he gave it to the customer. Some really large customer came behind the line and started helping himself to fries with his bare hands, and no one cared but me. I've seen two employees having sex on the prep table during the overnight shift. McChickens weren't that popular, so he kept the super old ones for horrible assholes and gave them bad McChickens. Sometimes they had mold on them. I watched a guy hawk down chicken nuggets like it was his business while on shift. I grew four pant sizes while working there, and it wasn't puberty. We used to spit on burgers for the really vile customers. I heard of a guy who threw a mouse into the fryer to watch it burn alive. Poor mouse. Some of the fun things we did were made sandwiches with like 10 layers of burger and cheese. We used an entire case of Swiss cheese in a day that resulted in the worst simultaneous constipation bout the world had ever seen. We used the warmer pans as skis. We purposefully squeezed as much grease out of the burgers as possible for one day just to see how much grease we could collect. We even had chicken nugget food fights when we weren't that busy. Sounds like they were very busy. Moving on to number nine now, we have The Morning After. This one comes from Reddit user Santi Domanti, and it's a reminder of how much trust we put in others when they make food for us. They said Chipotle, hands down. This wasn't really Chipotle's fault, rather an individual employee of Chipotle. This girl I was seeing and I went to Chipotle after class. She got a burrito and I got nachos. Everything was fine until I went to wake her up the next morning, and she literally looked like she was dead. I took her to the ER, and they admitted her immediately. She ended up spending almost a week in the hospital and almost died. It turns out someone poisoned the tomatoes and caused half a dozen people to get deathly sick. Luckily, nobody died. Needless to say, I have not been back. Next up at the number 8 spot now, we have the basket of fries. This one came from Julie Baker who shared it to the Buzzfeed Facebook account. She said, one time I was waiting in line to order when I noticed one of the employees leaning over the french fry bin. They very clearly were getting sick directly into the fries. Another employee ushered that employee away quickly before anyone else could see, and as far as I know, I was the only one who did. But people kept ordering, and they were told there would be a wait for fries. I walked right out and called the health board immediately. Coming in at number seven now, we have the mice. Now here is one from Reddit user Toxic Pink that is almost too crazy to believe, but after researching a bunch of these stories, I unfortunately do have to believe it. They said, I used to work at a fast food place that after a while ended up with a mouse problem. The owners hired someone to come in and take care of them, but he did a poor job. The mice would sometimes get into the traps, but apparently he had also sprayed poison on some other places. If the poison actually killed any of these critters, we never saw those. We did, however, see the ones that were unlucky enough to survive the ordeal and smell them. It would be in the middle of the day and and mice would come walking out from under counters or workstations very slowly and they stunk like death. I called them zombie mice because they smelled like they should be dead. They were gross looking and just moved very lethargically. They also didn't really seem to be afraid of people anymore. I had swept up a couple and tossed them out the back into the grass. I figured they'd probably wander off and die. Others, I think, got tossed into the dumpster. The worst was when I was at the dish station filling orders and my cook was standing in front of her fryers and a mouse fell from the freaking ceiling, almost hitting her on the head. We both freaked out 
and the thing just kind of stood there. Next up at number 6 now we have Drink for Two. So for those of our viewers from around the world, Sonic is a drive through place in North America. Reddit user Random had an experience that may put you off that place even before you go. They said this actually isn't too gross but horrifying if you don't like spiders. A few years ago I got a Route 44 at Sonic. After finishing the drink I pulled off the lid to chew on the ice. That's when I discovered a pretty good sized wolf spider that had drowned and was now sitting on top of the ice. I'm guessing it was hiding in the empty cup and accidentally went on a crazy and fateful ride. I wasn't too happy with the situation either. Next up at number 5 now we have the Panuki. I'm always down to try new flavours of things when they come out. You know there are some pretty interesting combinations out there. This one is definitely too far for me though. Reddit user Mickeymon said once I went to Boston Pizza with my girlfriend and ordered their Panuki which is a pan sized brownie cookie. My first bite had a mixture of cookie, brownie and onion. When I told the waitress she said if it makes you feel any better it was probably an onion from out of the dishwasher. To which I replied yes it makes me feel better that the onion was first on someone else's plate before mine. Our meal was free that day. At number 4 now we have Bacon Turkey Bravo. Although it can be gross when you see a hair or something else in your food, at least you can see that. You know it's there. But what about gross things you can't see? Buzzfeed user MeganK38 said I used to work at a fast food place during college and one day the plumbing in the men's room backed up so badly that it overflowed through the drains and into the back of the restaurant where all of the food prep happens. Management decided that wasn't a good enough reason to stop serving people though. So yeah, I was standing in literal poo while I made your bacon turkey bravo that day. Bon appetit. Moving on to number 3 now we have the lip. Here's a story from behind the counter. It comes from Reddit user Dreamline who said I worked at Subway for about 2 years when I was in high school. There was a lady I worked with who I will never forget. Picture this, a 72 year old woman who constantly coughs up chunks of M&M cookies onto every surface available including subs. Her and I were chatting in the back of the store once and while she was talking to me a chunk of cookie flew out of her mouth and landed on my lip. I almost gagged. She also would wear the same pair of gloves for cleaning, prepping food and for serving customers. It was disgusting. For some reason my boss never said anything to her about it. I guess he felt bad that she was so old and still working. Yeah, that one was uh, shocking, gross and a little bit sad. What a strange mix of emotions there. Moving on to number 2 now guys we have the Michelin Man. When it comes to scary fast food stories they don't get much scarier than a life threatening one. This one came from reddit user Stella Bella Butterfly. They said a few months ago I ordered at a local Chinese food place. They claimed to make everything fresh on the spot. So I ordered pad thai with chicken instead of prawns because I am deathly allergic to prawns. I specifically said to the lady at the counter that no prawns were to be anywhere near my food or it may kill me. I get my food home and it smells good. I'm excited to get stuck into it. I was sitting in my dark lounge room with a movie and my food on my lap and two bites in I can feel it happening. My airway is closing and my face is swelling and I start to panic. Thankfully as I'm scuffling about for the first aid kit looking for an EpiPen with the Australian equivalent of 911 dialed into my phone, my sister happened to come home and saved my ass. A 900 ambulance bill and a night in hospital later I am alive although I still resemble the Michelin man. My parents and sister were furious and were all ready to take them to court but honestly it could have been as simple as accidental cross contamination on a cutting board so I don't want to take down a small local business. I did however go back still puffy and swollen in the face to blast the shit out of them and warn them to be more careful and they offered me free food for a year but I haven't actually gone back. I'm a little bit terrified to eat Chinese food now. As shocking as that story is I bet you guys have some very similar allergy stories. And finally number 1 now we have the slime. This one comes from reddit user up to no good. It honestly sounds like a Frankenstein story where things just come to life that should never have been alive. They said I worked at a McDonald's for a little over a year. One of my cleaning tasks, mind you this is between handing out people's food, was to get down on the
the floor with a long handed scrub brush and clean underneath the automatic drink machine. I saw things man. There were several times I had to peel 3 inch long jelly like things so covered in mold and slime I swear they were alive. Some kind of worm or something. They wiggled. I'd scrub the black moldy inch thick soda blanket with a heavy combo of lye and degreaser. Then I'd jump up and hand someone their food. We complained to management that they couldn't make us handle biohazards and food at the same time. They responded by giving us more stuff to clean. Also I just remembered when the tubing in the creamer machine busted and whoever broke it just cleaned the visible part, leaving the mess to sit underneath all the stuff on the counter overnight. When we trace the smell back, well let's just say you're a different person after you spend 2 hours soaking up curdled creamer. Well guys, I'm not going to lie to you, I was feeling a little bit hungry before I did this video, but my appetite has now mysteriously vanished. How are you guys feeling? Do you have any scary fast food stories of your own? Let me know. Thanks for watching as always guys. My name is Danny Burke and I will see you all in the next one.